everybody welcome back to the essential owl Erin here today to make a cold process soap I am into making some springy summery warm sort of smells <laughs> because it is starting to warm up here even though it's not even March yet so <laughs> yeah I'm, I've been in the mood for warm weather so what better way to get myself more in that mood than to make something that smells like springtime. So, the soap that I'm going to be making today is going to be made with this fragrance oil right here. Energy from Brambleberry. And of course it's blurry because it always is. But, this is possibly their best selling fragrance oil ever. It smells so good. It's very citrusy. It smells like some sort of citrus fruit. I will put fragrance notes up on the screen for you so that you can see all of the fragrance notes that are in it, but it smells fabulous. I don't know why I haven't used it before. A lot of my soapy friends recommend this fragrance oil. It does not accelerate, or it shouldn't anyway, and it does not discolor. So, I get to make all sorts of fun colors if I choose, and today I do. I am using a variety of colors today. I'm going to be using the New Leaf Mica Powder from Nurture Soap. That lovely bright green. I will also be using Orange Vibrance Mica, also from Nurture. Very bright orange. And I will also be using Yellow Vibrance Mica, which is very bright yellow. These are not neon colorants, even though they kind of look like it in the bottle, but they're not. <laughs> Nurture Soap does make neon colors. I have not used them yet. I don't know if I ever will, but just throwing that out there in case anyone is wondering. I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil to my base oils. And I have, I've had a lot of people say, I don't add my fragrance oils to my base oils. I add them in after I add my lye water and things like that. And that's totally fine. I just like to do it this way. Uh, there's not any particular reason. That's just, that's just how I do it. There's not really anything wrong with doing it this way. It's just a preference. If I have a fragrance oil that I know is going to accelerate... I won't add it until I have my lye water mixed in and have my raw soap up to a, at least emulsified. So, and that just gives me a little bit of time to make sure everything is well and incorporated before I add that fragrance oil in case it seizes or accelerates or anything like that. There is a little bit of a difference with my base oils today. I have added kaolin clay which I've started to use in basically every soap that I make because it just, it feels so wonderful on the skin. It makes it slippery, almost a little bit creamier. It's pretty fantastic. I also am trying something else new. <laughs> and I added powdered goat's milk to my recipe today. I have not made goat's milk soap before, but I love goat's milk soap. So we're going to try it out see how it goes. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the making of this soap. good and mixed in at a very very light trace just past emul emulsification if I could speak English that would be fantastic considering I should know how to speak that pretty well <laughs> all right so it is thickening just a tad so I'm going to move quickly if I can, oh goodness, 
This is what happens when I get frazzled. And if it's a little bit thick, that's fine. I can go in with a hanger swirl or a hanger tool. I don't have anything particular in mind for the design of this soap. So, I think it'll be just fine, even if it does thicken up. I'm not that worried about it. All right. Oh, yeah. See? See how thick? That's a very, very thick trace. And that's totally fine. Totally fine. Am I convincing you all or am I convincing myself? <laughs> all right. So, I'm going to separate out just a little bit. I think I want to do the middle swirl, the small swirl in, I don't know, you guys, I, don't, I haven't really thought this through. I just kind of jumped into making soap today without really having a plan. All right, so I've got my stuff all separated out here. I'm going to do, let's do a lot of yellow. How about that? Let's try that out, see how that works. So yellow there. Got some orange there. And we'll do a small swirl of green because why not? All right, let me get these mixed in. So I've got all of my colors mixed in here. You can see how thick my batter is and that's totally fine. It actually, as I was sitting here stirring, I got an idea for something that I wanted to do as far as the design of the soap. I kind of want to do a layered soap with a little bit of a twist on it and I don't think I'm the first person that will have ever done this, but I thought it would be interesting to try. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to show you what, what I mean as I'm doing it because I'm not sure that I can explain it very well. But the consistency of this batter is actually going to help me out a lot, I think. So this is the orange that we ended up with. And I've used this orange several times. It looks kind of dark right now, but it actually lightens up a little bit after the soap has sat. And here is the green, very green and the yellow, which is quite thick. So I believe that this one is going to be going on the bottom. So let's go on and get started. Okay, so here is my idea. I am going to plop some of this soap down into the mold. And what my plan is, is to kind of smooth it out a little. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. That's totally fine. 
because I want to create a little bit of a texture on the top and then pour the next layer and texture that and then pour the next layer. We'll see how it ends up. So, I'll clean off my spatula a little here. I'm going to clean up the sides, push some of that soap down in there that got up on the sides so that I can have a as, as clean of a line as I can between my colors. Okay, I'm going to bang this down. Okay, now I'm going to take my handy dandy purple thing and kind of create some craters. Can you all see what I'm doing? Let's see. So just like this, I'm just kind of pressing that tip down into the soap to create some craters. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because it's not the top of the soap. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now, I don't know if this is going to work because of how thick it is. And if it doesn't, I'm okay with that, honestly. So I'm plopping in all of my green, or at least most of it. I'm just going to smooth that out. Not really sure why this soap accelerated on me like that. It's probably something that I did. It's probably not the fragrance oil at all. Just because this fragrance behaves for just about everyone that's ever used it, from what I can tell. Sorry that I'm turning it. I'm trying to make sure I get pretty even coverage on this green. And of course, me smoothing this out could totally be ruining the texturing that I did on top of that yellow. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I haven't done a layered soap before. So this is, this is new. Okay, I'm going to bang that down a little. Okay. I did have some air bubbles that popped, so that's good. Okay, now I'm going to go in and do the same thing. Create some craters. Okay. And now, oh wow, this orange is pretty hard. See if I can stir this into submission a little. Sometimes if you have soap batter that thickens up, if you stir it a little, it'll loosen back up. Sometimes, not always. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with a pretty hefty layer of orange. Wow, did you all see that? <laughs> that is just my luck. Of course you didn't see it because I don't have the dang. What I did was I plopped some soap right here at the very end and it, it went everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm scraping out this orange bowl as much as I can. Don't want to waste any. Okay, and now I'm just smushing that batter down in there. 
just to make sure I don't have any gigantic air bubbles, which I'm sure I will because I think I might have just got too excited and soaked a little bit too soon or maybe I stirred a little bit. I mixed a little bit too much. There we go. Okay. Going to create some craters. And again, this texturing that I'm doing, none of it, it, it might not come through in the finished bars. I don't know. Just kind of experimenting. Okay. And now, maybe, if I have enough, I don't know if I do, I'll kind of put the rest of this green in, even though there's not very much. Get some green in that. Just a little. I don't want to muddy this stuff up too much. Okay, I'm going to bang this down. All right, so there's that. And actually, from banging it down, it kind of settled a little, so I'm going to kind of texturize it a little again. I'm sorry if that's shaking the camera a little. Soap's pretty hard at this point. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any of this yellow in here. Wow, you guys, I'm kind of starting to doubt my own ability at making soap at this point. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm going to do because the soap is pretty hard. I'm going to put it in with my hands and smooth it out. You won't see very many people do this because they're a lot smarter than me. <laughs> I'm sticking together. By the way, if you're watching this video and you're questioning my sanity, I don't, I don't blame you. I just feel like if I use my hands to kind of smoosh this in a little to the mold, that I might be able to fill in the crevices a little bit better. Do as I say, not as I do, and don't do this, okay? <laughs> do not do this. Okay. So now that I've made a complete fool of myself, stick the rest of this yellow on here. Okay. I'm just gonna clean up my edges just a little. Push some of that batter right back into the mold. And now I'm going to change gloves because. <laughs> okay, clean gloves. I'm just going to kind of get these little chunks of soap off the edge so they don't go flying everywhere. I'm going to bang this down. Woo! Okay. I banged the heck out of that thing. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to take my handy dandy purple thing yet again, even though it's got other colors on it, and I don't want other colors on it. Let me grab a paper towel. Okay, I got that all cleaned off. So now I'm just going to very lightly sort of texturize the top of this soap. I'm gonna smooth it out first. Try to get it as even as possible. I don't want bars that are super short and some that are too tall.
Okay, so I got that sort of smoothed out. You guys, this soap might be ugly. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but boy, does it smell good. Oh my gosh, it smells delicious. It smells like some kind of fruit snack or something. So good. If you like citrusy, fruity smells, you're going to like this soap. <laughs> All right, so I am just going to very, and I don't have a plan exactly. I am just sort of creating a little bit of a texture on top, just so that it's not completely flat. Which, I don't know, maybe that's a mistake. What do you guys think? Eh, I'm changing my mind here. So maybe this, eh. yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, yep, I kind of like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it alone now. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do to it. Yep, I do. I think that's all I'm going to do. All right, let's bring you all in for a close-up. So here's the top. It's very simple, and it doesn't have a lot going for it. I'm not going to lie. But I think the inside, inside, <laughs> I think the inside is going to be interesting. I'm curious to see how those textured layers that I did, if those hold up. Or if they don't, maybe they all smush together. I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I'm also hoping that this yellow calms down a little bit because right now it looks really, really, really orange. And that was not what I was going for. I've used that yellow before and sometimes it does that. But I don't know. We'll see. So that is all that I have for you all today. This is the soap that we just made. It does not have a name yet. By the time I, let's, I, I'm going to assume by the time I upload the video, it'll have a name. But that is all that I have for you all. I will bring you all back for the cut. If you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.